always take the high road, you chrome-headed son of a I want to get the charger pushed out. start a big project like the Daytona or any of the cars that are relatively together, you want to get them disassembled, the parts laid out, and inventoried so that you know what you need to order, you know what you already have, and then you can begin the actual reassembly process in a somewhat of a timely fashion. I would like to stack everything in this so we know it's all contained in it, so think about what the sizes are of stuff. Will any of this stuff fit my car I can use? Darren always has to make it difficult. It's always about Darren. Darren's selfish that way. What about my car? What can I have off of this? It's like a little kid tugging at your shoulder. What can I have? What can I have? You know, he's not a team player. I've got clients that are paying good money to have their cars restored. Why can't we get along a little bit better, Darren? Because look what you do, Mark. You what just, did I do? You strike out at people that wonder why they do something back. Here we go again. Another perfect example of not following my own rules of not playing. So by saying good morning, Darren, that was lashing out well, at you? Darren, why don't you try to do what Tom's doing? You, 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 I should never have gone so far as to say good morning, Darren. When it comes to cars like the Daytona Charger or equally rare cars, you have to be very careful taking them apart as well as putting them together. You have to document the parts, and then when you do get them off, you have to take great care to make sure they don't get damaged. Or not. I have more fun taking the cars apart, I think, than putting them together. Putting them together is a little more tedious. You know, taking them apart, it's fun to find production marks that they would have had. That wing's worth more than your whole car, Royal. Be careful. No, it's not, Mark. That wing is worth more than his car. It is not. It is not, Mark. They're repopping the factory cast aluminum wings? Well, I did not know that. Well, the Daytona's coming apart great. Most of the car was apart anyway. Just taking off a few of the big pieces, things you don't want media blasted and stuff like that. It's going to be great. Look at this. Nobody ever puts that stuff back in. And that, you know, part of it, while it has been a part in some ways, some of it's never been touched. These wires haven't been pulled out of there. Nobody ever puts that fabric tape back in. Yanker. There you go. We got the car unpacked. We have all the bolt-on items out of the vehicle. Uh, the only things that are left on it right now before we send it down to the blaster is the front and the rear suspension. Right there. Perfect. When you're sending one of these cars off to have it media blasted or dipped, you have to have everything off of it except for the actual body panels themselves. That means front suspension, rear suspension, motor transmission, lines, brakes, hoses, glass, trim, everything has to be off these cars for them to be able to get in and actually clean the original panels themselves. We're gonna raise the car up and that suspension's gonna stay on the ground. Got it? Today has gone remarkably well. Uh, again, the other two idiots, Dumb and Dumber, being gone. Uh, Royal and I have just turned and burned on the Daytona. We got all the interior out, the dash, the, the heater core, the seats. Everything that was bolted in is unbolted. We got the front suspension and K-member out of it, as well as the rear axle and leaf springs. So the car is now down on the ground and ready to head off to the blaster.